when people talk about the cost of home acquisition, it's the mortgage finance bit that they are referring to and they talk about how expensive the loans are. In fact, people tend to confuse the two. People, I hear people saying mortgage, mortgages are expensive and then they go ahead to say, for example, a mortgage in a is $300,000. I think they're confusing the house with the loan. The, the loan is what it is, and it, you know, it, it really comes down to the kind of house you're looking to buy. But normally when we talk about home acquisition, um, we are the ones who get, who get a lot of um, flack. And we'll talk a bit in a few minutes about why mortgage rates are what they are. But first, talk, let me talk about the size of the mortgage market, because I think one of the earlier speakers referred to it. Ideally, um, or at least our target as a company is to see mortgages um, grow to about 10% of GDP, which is about a $4 billion industry, if you believe GDP is somewhere around $40 billion. At the moment, outstanding mortgages in Ghana would be no more than $300 million. And that's after a lot of effort on, on our part and other mortgage providers in the land. Um, I can easily hazard a guess as to why that is so. It's so because when people think of home ownership, honestly, mortgage applications don't immediately come to mind. You think of buying land and building yourself and you, know, you don't automatically think of taking a mortgage, which is not the case elsewhere. There are places in the world where mortgage as a percentage of GDP is up in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And that's because elsewhere you can't just start digging the ground and build a house, especially a house that you abandon halfway and come back in five, year, five years later and try to complete. You can't do that. When you're building, you're building to completion. But that's not the environment in which you live. It's possible in our markets to do this. And therefore, a lot more people decide to do that without um, considering taking a mortgage. And because that's the case, because it's not really the first choice for most people, um, a lot of um, common myths have been perpetuated. And, and one is that um, the loan is not affordable. Now, before I misquote it, I'm, I need to quickly add, I'll be the first to say that not everybody in this country qualifies for a mortgage. Similarly, not everybody in this country will own a home. I think that's a truth we should all embrace. Um, but it's a fact, and it's a fact because we see it in our line of business, that a lot more people qualify for mortgages than they even know they do. And that's because when, when we see this quite often, when you ask people how much they earn, they think about the number that hits their bank account every month. But that's not their total earnings because you find people in certain incomes earn allowances, bonuses, commissions, and as I'm sure applies to a good number of people in this room, most people have a second line of income. You know, they have a day job, but they also have another job. And when we think of qualifying for a mortgage, we think of combining um, formal income with informal income. And when you do that, you'll find that a lot more people qualify to get on the property ladder using the mortgage product. <laughs>